So our data collection methods, let's have a look at how the different ways we could do it. So when I've got observational data, I can collect it in a number of different ways. So I can do it simply just by observing. All right. I can just sit there and watch people, watch objects and note it down any observations I make. I could do it via an interview. So I could sit down and do a face to face interview, ask you some questions. And as a teacher, we do this all the time. How are you going? What can I help you with? Do you understand what this question's about? And so on. So I'm constantly asking, doing face to face interviews, asking the questions, and I'd be writing down the answers as I went. A third type is if I've got a questionnaire. And I could do this via the internet. Um, you know how sometimes you'll get the little pop up thing saying, Can you take our survey? Or I can be sent an email with a survey. Or it could be a pen and paper survey that I've been asked to fill in. Um, so any of these things um, will come under that title of questionnaire. Um, the, another type is a database. And so, for example, all of our student marks, all of the data about students, your, um, your addresses, your um, contact information, your grades, all of those things are stored in our da school database. And that's also what NCQA uses to collect that information. So those are four different methods that we can use to collect data.